Hi everyone, this is Ashley, and welcome to Octopus Web Scraping Case Tutorial. I am going to show you how to scrape product information from AliExpress.com using Octopus. Before we get started, open AliExpress.com using your own browser. Type in the keyword that you need. In this case, for example, we want to scrape the information about laptop. Enter laptop in the search bar. After the page finishes loading, copy this URL. This is the URL we will use in this demonstration. Step 1. Enter the URLs of the website. To build a new task, click Advanced Mode and enter the URL. And then click Save URL on the left corner. This will bring you to the product listing page with Octopus Building Browser. Step 2. Create a pagination loop. After the web page finishes loading from the built-in browser, you can see the Octopus interface is divided into three parts. The workflow box on the left, the setting area on the right, and the interactive view of the website on the bottom. Octopus loads the laptop listings within the built-in browser. As you may notice, the product listings are spread over different pages. In this tutorial, we will scrap all the product information on all pages. We need to create a pagination loop, so Octopus is able to go through each listing page. To create a pagination loop, scroll down to the bottom of the page and find the pagination bar. Then click the Next Page button. The Command Panel called Action tab will show you once you interact with the website with the action of clicking. I will show you what you can do with the selected element. In this case, choose loop click the selected link. As you can see, we just finished creating pagination loop. Octopus will click through each listing page and do the exact same thing as the action we take on the first page. Step 3. Create a loop item. To click through each detail page and get further information, we need to create a loop item. To create a loop item, select the element, in this case, for example, the product name from the listing. Click the first product. The selected element is highlighted in green color. Octopus should be able to find other similar items and put them in red color. Click Select All. And then choose Loop Click Selected Link from the Action tip. Now, we have a loop list with all the detail pages. Octopus will click through each detail page and doing the exact same thing as the action will take on the first page. Step 4. Select the data you need. Now we need to select the extraction field. To extract the data, click the element, for example, in this case, the product name and choose Extract the text of the selected element from Action tab. If you want to extract more element, just repeat the above steps. For example, click Price. Choose Extract the text of the selected element from Action tab. Now we've completed setting the extraction. The next step is to run the scraper you just created. Step 5. Run the task. After finishing setting up the rules, we can run the task by clicking Start Extraction. Then select a local extraction to run the task. You can switch the view to check the scraping status on the website. Or you can see the data has been extracted from the data panel. Thanks for watching. Please leave us a comment down below if you have any questions.